Percutaneous Transhepatic Portography, with Hemodynamic Evaluation, RSI. Without Hemodynamic Evaluation, RSI. A radiographic exam of the portal vein of the liver is done by inserting a needle through the abdomen. The patient's right side is cleansed and a local anesthetic given at the puncture site. A needle is inserted into the skin just under the ribs and diaphragm and advanced to the liver under fluoroscopic guidance. The needle is aimed at the portal vein and when blood returns from the needle, a small amount of contrast is injected to confirm placement into the portal vein. When in place, a guide wire is inserted and a catheter follows. More contrast is injected, radiographs taken, and intravenous, hemodynamic pressures in the portal vein are recorded. This code reports the radiological supervision and interpretation only. Use a separately reportable code for the catheterization. Hepatic venography, wedged or free, with hemodynamic evaluation, RSI. Without hemodynamic evaluation, RSI. A local anesthetic is applied over the common femoral vein and a guide wire is fed through until it reaches the hepatic vein. A catheter is threaded over the guide wire and the guide wire is removed. For wedged hepatic venography, the catheter is wedged into a small hepatic vein branch to approximate the portal pressure occurring in liver disease. For free hepatic venography, the catheter tip lies free in the hepatic vein. Correct positioning of the catheter is monitored by fluoroscopy. Contrast medium is injected into the vein and x-rays are taken. Report 75889 if this is done together with hemodynamic evaluation in which blood movement through the liver is monitored by indwelling catheters connected to transducers. The pressure forces within the arteries and veins are converted to electrical signals and displayed on screen. Venous sampling through catheter, with or without angiography, e.g., for parathyroid hormone, renin, RSI. Venous sampling involves withdrawing blood from a patient's vein into a vacuum tube to test the blood for excess hormones. Single or double catheters may be used for sampling. The catheter, S, is inserted in the femoral vein, S, and maneuvered to the vein in the anatomical location in which the testing is to be performed. When the catheter is correctly placed, several blood samples are withdrawn. Dacryocystography, nasolacrimal duct, RSI. Dacryocystography is the radiographic evaluation of the lacrimal system to localize the site of an obstruction. One cc of a water-soluble contrast medium is injected through the lower canaliculus and x-rays of the excretory system are obtained. The physician supervises the procedure and interprets and reports the findings. Cephalogram, orthodontic. A lateral or frontal x-ray projection is taken to examine the skull, jaw, and related tooth positions. The machine holds the patient's head in the same position each time so that a series of cephalograms can be directly compared for growth and development over time. <laughs>